Yeah, I think uh, the history <laughs> part of it is quite fascinating in that we started with the premise of all we have to do is provide regulatory intelligence. Companies already have uh, risk and compliance uh, solutions. If we just feed this intelligence to them, they're going to be good to go. And we started with that uh, approach and very quickly after a series of conversations, listening very carefully to the feedback from the compliance community, we found that intelligence enough is uh, not enough. And intelligence alone is not enough. Why? Because all you've done is now dumped literally a mountain of information at them without providing them with the ability to take action on it. And I think in 18, we started seeing more and more of uh, the um, use of the term regulatory change management as opposed to regulatory intelligence or regulatory trend analysis or insights. Not, not, not in opposition with each other, but kind of like bringing them together into regulatory change management. Go back 10 years, this was not even a term. There was not such a process in these organizations that would deal with it. So this is something new that started forming 16, 17, 18. Uh, started becoming more and more of a curiosity in what is this? What is reg tech? Reg tech as in technologies that help you with monitoring, tracking, and reacting and reporting on regulatory changes by taking advantage of automation and SaaS and ML. We are very much the poster child for that. But then in 2019, we started seeing more and more actual forward-looking CCOs, CROs, GCs that would put requests for information, requests for proposals. And in 2020, um, in spite of, or maybe because of COVID, you started seeing a much more specific focus on regulatory change management, automation, transforming it into a modernized um, form, if you will, uh, within the organizations, uh, to the point that we were recipient of over, I wanna say 30 uh, RFPs from mid to large size organizations just in the US alone, with comprehensive plans of transforming regulatory change management. I think it went from, what the heck is this to um, let's try it out to now we're going to formally transform our change management solution. I think I've seen that so much right now. It takes less than five minutes to explain and get a head nod <laughs> from heads of compliance risk or audit or um, general counsel at organizations about the challenge they're facing and the fact that they need to modernize the change management practice.